Hey guys, Pim Master here. I got a new combination for you or a new technique and it involves the hook. Go figure. All right, this is called hockey hooks. All right, hockey hooks. Now, how you get into this clinch area, you know, situation, I don't know, but you did. Maybe you threw a liver kick and they rushed you, so you had to get a tie clinch to protect yourself, right? So you get a tie clinch, clear your hips in case they're trying to do a body lock, put your elbow, your forearms against their clavicle, and try to get some knees in, damage, as much as you can, all right? Now, let's say you started to get out of it a little bit, right? So instead of letting go and just disengaging, say you still got a good half, you know, you know, you got like a, you still got a half clinch over here, all right, collar tie right here. Put a lot of pressure in the back of his head and squeeze it tight and just start punching the face as hard as you can. You want to stop the threat. And with him not being able to go anywhere, even if it's just for like three punches, you should get enough damage in there where you either rock him, maybe you, you make him, you render him unconscious or whatever, but you want to hit him as hard as many times as you can. It's just like a, a, a hockey player when they grab the, the, um, the clothes, which you can do, but this happens to be a collar tie right here. Bring the head down, try to control the head as much as you can, and just swing the hook as hard as you can right to the chin, okay? So that's called hockey hooks, and I'm saying hooks instead of hook because I want a lot of them. All right, guys, make sure you share this because I want everybody to stay safe. You never know when you get in a situation when you have to use something like this, all right? I want you to live clean. It's not that hard to do, guys. You can cheat once in a while, but live clean, train hard, fight dirty. Don't let anyone take your lunch money. Stay safe out there, guys. Thanks for coming.